with twigs and wood. If you can't do that, get a tent from Amazon. Go down to the store, get a tent, sleep outside for the next week. All right? That's what you should be doing to commemorate the Feast of uh, Tabernacle. All right, we're going to bring up the next mighty speaker. Pump some up! Uh, fire upon Babylon. Fire upon Babylon, man. The great is coming to an end, man. Babylon, Babylon is America, man. That land of confusion. This is it, man. You know what I'm saying? We're nearing the end, man. And America is on a rapid downward spiral, man. And all praises be to Yahweh by Shemu Hamashai, man. All the brothers spoke lightly through the spirit, man, and made them on side, put it within my spirit to continue to put this uh, another, you know, crumble into the to the to the fall of Babylon, man. Another crack in that spiritual temple of Babylon. You know what I'm saying? We want to see this place fall. We want to see this place be demolished. We, we want to see the destruction of our enemies, man. Lord willing, we're gonna start it off with Jeremiah chapter 48 and verse 10, man. So the most hard thing about people all across the world, man. You know what I'm saying? People are excited right now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they found Tupac's yeah, money, man. <laughs> you know? People excited. They want to find the star. They say, hey, is that the star of Tupac? Do you guys know where the star of Tupac is? Please help us. Hey, frankly, we don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Like Tupac's bishop said in Jews. Frankly, I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? So, but nonetheless, Jeremiah 48, verse 6. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 48, verse 10. Tupac did more than Jesus did. He taught me about the Illuminati. Stop that. Stop that. He taught me more than Jesus did. Tupac taught me to stay away from the white man. He taught me to stay away from the white man. Did Tupac have sex with white women? Not as bad. He didn't have sex with white women. He didn't have sex with white women. He didn't have sex with Hey, hey, he with my but he who has not has not seen Cat's first song. What do you mean? What do you, what do you he was a kid that? and he was an artist, you know that bro. You know? He was an artist, yes, but and he was a 24, he was 24, he was still a kid. He was he was kind of he was kind of uh uh twofold. He had a, a revolutionary side. Would you, to would you take would you yeah, get your yeah, knowledge yeah. from a 24 year old over here? Yeah. Would you take all your knowledge from a 23 or 24 year old over here? It depends. Okay, Tupac was that age. He taught, the, he taught the world. He taught the world. He was still learning, bro. Come on. He was on the right lane. He was in the right lane, though. Gang bang was still going on after he died. He had the he had the song called Change. He had the song called Change too, though. He said everybody changed. So he was trying. He, he told you he was trying to change. That's all. Of course, that's why I said he had a revolutionary spirit. But he also had a nigga spirit on. That's right. That, 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 we come from the dirt. We come from the dirt. We can build and destroy. Hey, bro. If you want to be real, hey, look. Oh. If you want to be real, then we're not going to put down none of our people because in Kemet, nothing dies, first of all. Keep everything positive. We out here on this lobby Illuminati soil right here. Everything is tainted. I put a lot of white people in mansions out here, so the soil is paid for. Let's get it right. We built the pyramid and the White House. You talking to Coach Carter. I played 18 on the movie, but I am two years from 50. Yeah. I look like I'm 18. I rock with y'all, though. I, I rock with y'all, bro. I rock with y'all. No, we rock with, we rock with our people, of course. But this that's, is the thing, right? Rock with pop. He, he that's why I'm saying rock, rock with pop. That's why I'm saying rock with pop. saying rock with pop. Of course we rock with our people. But this is the thing. Yeah, this is the thing, right? We have to correct our people if they're doing something that is contrary to the building of our nation. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So now watch this. Pop taught me more than Jesus did. I'm okay, that. so now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You must not have read about... This, you know, Jesus the Christ, man. You must not have read about him, man. Because, na <laughs> yeah, names when of the When we first started speaking, there was no language. We were speaking gibberish, and we knew body language. Who? What you talking about, brother? Stop. Dude, I'm, listen, Timmy. Stop. Timmy got you, Jordan, there was no language. Timmy got you going off, brother. Gibberish. I'm going to let you know that right now. He wasn't now. speaking nothing. Timmy got you going the hell off, brother. He's speaking gibberish. Yes, it does, right? So, but bring this up, 21. Trying to put me in a box. All your religion is in a box, bro. There is a reproof that is not common. There is a reproof that is not common. Big Bang, take little back. The Bible says, Big Bang, take little back. Listen to me real quick, King. The Bible says there is a reproof that is not common. 
So reproof means to correct. You know what I'm saying? To challenge our people, to correct them in their wickedness, right? God said there is a reproof that is not coming. It's not always a beautiful thing for somebody to tell create you your, when you're doing Create your own system, bro. Stop following the system you trying to tell other people. What system you're not you even created? out of the system yet. What system have you created? You're still in the matrix. Brother, what system have you created? What system did Tupac create? You know what I'm saying? They, you asking you a like, question, give the floor. <laughs> We don't do that. Brother, just we don't get still. No, we don't get doing that. Simple. You're on a quest. So when you ask no, me a no, question no, nine no. times out of ten, no. you already know the answer. Okay, so don't no, try no, to think fast talk to me. You said create this. It's my create motherfucking backyard. Hollywood is mine. Okay, I did so 30 now, national okay. commercials in this okay. town and I kick ass in this town. You Everybody black see my movie twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody black see my movie twice. I'm an influencer. Okay, like bro. Kanye West. Okay, so Magic brother, Johnson's my homeboy. Stop talking fast, bro. No, 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 I can no, put no. you, you on, a whole bunch I can of put you on any movie. Up here, That's why! Coach running Carter running, running every day. That part, I'm running. Wicked ass nigga running your mouth on Hollywood Boulevard. That's why! That's it and that's all. Let's this one that's not how it go, nigga. You don't talk to me like that. My name is Maguire. I'm out here every day, though. I'm on the front line like Nipsey Hustle, nigga. I make a thousand dollars a day out here. A hundred DVDs at ten dollars a pop, and I give it back to the people. So the, I just told you what I'm doing. Don't watch me, watch TV, homeboy. Everybody see my movie twice. And you talk to my homie right next to me. The, the, the one and only Hamashiach Yahweh man. Now he could have been talking about what? White Jesus, man. Yeah, in now he case, was talking about white yeah, Okay, in that case, yeah, we don't. We, we, I'd say, yeah, we learn more from Tupac than we learn from white Jesus. I could agree with well, that I, statement. I, I, you know what I'm saying? But if you're not, if you're talking about the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, yeah, it's so called. You say but, you just killed everything I just said. Don't say but. Add to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what don't say but. Brother, what color was Christ? He Christ according to the Bible. 
Black rice and wild rice. Ain't no white rice. Redfish, bluefish. We don't get it out the bottle. Yeah, redfish, bluefish, knickknack, paddywhack. Give the dog a bone. And look, that's all that's coming out your mouth right now. Revelation chapter one and verse fourteen. Because what? A lot of people don't know the truth of the Christ, but it is the Bible, right? Give me Saint John chapter five and verse ten. There is a record not for us that gave a description of what Christ looked like. Now, recently, the other day, like the brother just brought out, artificial intelligence just put out an image. The shroud of, uh, or shroud of uh, ch uh, Chirin, right? Basically came from Italy. They put out an image and it showed what Christ looked like and it came out to be a European man with European features, right? But again, we don't bring things out the Bible because they didn't even come close to what the scripture says, man. They didn't even care about, like, come on, man. You know, they, they went off their own painters for Leonardo da Vinci in ancient times. And it's the same madness, the same folly, the same lies, man. And the same deception that our people are being sucked into, right? So Revelation 1, and uh, let's get verse 14. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. As white as snow. Right, so right there it said his head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow, right? So now, and if we look at that, that shroud image, that shroud of children, that artificial intelligence, you know what I'm saying? Brother, you got a question over here? You believe in the Bible? I have the Bible on my back in front of me. Of course I believe in the Bible. Okay, so now, what, what did Jesus Christ look like according to the Bible? He looks like the Russian, uh, the Russian uh, Jesus that they got in in their museum. Bronze. Oh. Bronze. Like you. Your yeah, and then bronze is the uh, derivative of what? It's all, we all from Africa, bro. But yeah. the difference is, Israel is Palestine. That's where we cut the cut cake, the cut cake, the cut the cake. Jesus was born in Palestine. Bethlehem was in Palestine. Brother, what proof do you have for that? It's on my back. Get it off your back, brother. And bring it out, brother. Get that monkey off your back and bring it out, brother. All right, because look, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21 tells us to prove all things. Okay, yeah, you can hit us up. Hit us up on our Instagram, our Instagram account. Yo, I'll, give them, I'll give you a flyer. I got you a flyer right here. All right, brother, so you can hit us up. If you got that evidence, hey, bring it out, man. You know what Otherwise, you're just making a statement, you know, trying to, you know, bring... Okay, okay, so but we're going to show you what the Bible says. Now, you said bronze and what they had in Russia, but this is exactly what the scripture says, right? Yeah, right. Bring it uh, And his eyes were a flame of fire, and his feet, what? And his feet, like unto fine brass. Oh, it's bronze. Brass. brass. So the, the original text says brass, which is a little, it's darker than the bronze, right? So it says his feet, like unto fine brass, or as if. They burn in a furnace. Right. And you put anything in a furnace, it's going to come out real dark. So he was a dark-skinned man walking upon the earth. That's what the Christ was, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, it's, it's a lot of madness and folly. But we, uh, again, we're standing ten toes down for the Lord. We're not backing down from no, you know, no conflict, no madness. You know what I'm saying? People try to intimidate. We don't give a damn about none of that. We don't give a damn about what city you rep, what, what hood you bang. How long you been out here? You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, we, we from the streets too. That's right. You know, sure. We from the streets too. Sure. You know what I'm right. saying? You got brothers from the from the trenches of, of the Bay Area. You got brothers from what Chicago. You know, you got uh, you got brothers deep from LA. You know what I'm saying? Brothers is from the trenches as well. But they get it confused because we read the Bible that we don't know how to get down from the shoulders. Give me Psalms 144 and verse one. Like, look, if you can bring this out for me real fast, would you? This is 1 John chapter 5, verse 10. He that believes on the Son of God has a witness in himself. He that believes not, God has made him a liar because he believes not the record that God gave of his Son. You see, again, in closing about the Hamashiach, you have to believe in the record that God gave. All of these men, you know what I'm saying, these scribes, these writers of the book, right? 
You know what I'm saying? These holy apostles, these men that wrote these words down with ink and paper, they left us a record of what the Jesus looked like. So it's not a white man with blonde hair and blue eyes. That's a lie. That's a, de a deception that they, ha they have kept up for centuries, man. These damn Romans, man. And they continue to push this damn thing. Of course it came from Italy. You know what I'm saying? The Shroud of, of, of Turin. But nonetheless, you have to believe the record. And the record states that he had hair like wool and his feet was as a color of fine brass as if it burned in a furnace. He was a dark-skinned man, and if he was that color being a Jew, what color were the rest of the Jews at that time? And what color are the rest of the Jews still to this day? Huh? You know what I'm saying? Because like an Ethiopian, you can't change an Ethiopian color, like the shit that tells us, right? They gonna remain the same. You know what I'm saying? So a Jew, an Israelite man, woman or child, they gonna remain the same, and it, and it remains us so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and, and, and Native American Indians. Huh? So bring this up for me right now. The book of Psalms, chapter 144, verse 1. Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teaches my hands to war. Which doeth what? Which teaches my hands to war. Hey, right, look, you had mighty men in, 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 in the ancient times, man. Where he said, the Lord, blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teaches my hands to war, man. You know, you had men that were skilled in combat, skilled in war. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't afraid, you know, for any type of conflict. But brothers dealt in, in, in order, man. They did things accordingly, man. You know what I'm saying? So, again, man, we, uh, coming with the folly and the madness, like you're going to pump some type of fear in the hearts of, uh, of the men of God. Hey, knock it off, man. Knock it off. You know what I'm saying? Especially with that hardcore stuff on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. You're not in the trenches of L.A. right now with that bullshit. Oh, you're not in the trenches, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, read that one more time for me. Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Come on, come on. So uh, give me uh, Psalms of Solomon chapter 3 and verse 8 right quick. So but nonetheless, we're going to get another preset. Give me this right quick. Uh, uh, Psalms, Psalms of Solomon 3 and verse 8. Bring it. The book of Psalms of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 8. They all hold swords, being expert in war. It said what? They all hold swords, being expert in war. All right, it said, so look, in the ancient times, it said they all hold swords, being experts in war, man. You know what I'm saying? Guerrilla warfare tactics. You know what I'm saying? Uh, pulling up on your enemies, fighting another army. Our people were experts at these things, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is how America's military was formed. You know what I'm saying? Anything you look at as far as America's government to the Hollywood, you know what I'm saying, uh, entertainment that they have in these movies, they all get their ideas and thoughts from the Holy Bible, man. That's where they get their ideas and thoughts from. All the uh, directors and writers of these television shows and movies, They'll tell you that, man. The inspiration comes from the Bible, man. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no way around that. How y'all doing, family? Y'all got time for the Word of God? Y'all believe in, in, in the Most High? Come on. Hey, hey, come, hey, come here and smoke. Hey, I, was, I, was, I was drinking and smoking, bro. I ain't want okay. to. Okay. Yeah, bro. I ain't want to. You know, okay. it's okay. like that, bro. Okay. But okay. I, I didn't feel where coming from, though. Yeah, we've got to tell people that we have to repent and come back to keep it with the commandments in the last days. Right, right, As me and God's chosen people, the Israelites. Right, okay. So, hey, y'all be safe out here. Thank you, bro. I'm saying, check this out if y'all get a chance on YouTube. Y'all be safe So, again, man, it's time for Jacob to wake up in these last days, man. Right. All hell is breaking loose, man. Damn. America is not about to last much longer, man. Right. You got Russia and Ukraine, uh, the Ukrainian war intensifying more and more every day, man. You got North Korea saying how uh, uh, a nuclear attack just almost happened at the peninsula. You know what I'm saying? So things are escalating more and more. You know what I'm saying? And I did want to bring out an article in a little bit, but let me get uh, one precept with y'all. Finish this one right quick, and then I'm going to jump back to uh, your precept real fast. Go ahead. The, uh, Song of Solomon 3 and 8. They all hold swords. They ask for the war. Every man has his sword upon his thigh because of fear in the night. Huh. So every man was holding their swords because of the fear of the night, man. Right? 
You have people keeping their swords upon them, like you see brothers holding, you know, keeping the, uh, the, the blicky upon them, man. You know what I'm saying? No different in, in, in ancient times than it is in today's time. Brother he got his gun on him, hey look, they had the swords on the hip. You know what I'm saying? But you know, brothers wasn't operating in the spirit to attack their own people, man. That's that poom spirit that comes about among people. Give me that in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Bring this out right quick. Then. This is John chapter 19. The 18, verse chapter, chapter 18, verse 36. Yahweh shall answer, my kingdom is not of this world. Say what? My kingdom is not of this world. No, we're building our own empire here in America. My kingdom is not of this world. Uh, man, we foundational black Americans. This is our country. My kingdom is not of this world. How much I even made it plain, man? Even being in the, in the midst of his own land, he said, my kingdom is not of this world, man. Because who was controlling the world at that time, man? You know what I'm saying? Rome was. You know what I'm saying? The Europeans was. Esau. Hey, look, and the Bible says Rome, or the daughters of Rome, which America sprung out of Great Britain, they would still be ruling, or they would rule at the very end before Hamashiach, the Messiah, returns, man. So Esau is in power right now. The people in whom, in which God said he hated. These Europeans, they are in power right now, right? So Christ said, my kingdom is not of this world, go ahead. My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. Then would we what? Then would my servants fight. So we're not trying to fight to hold America together, to bring everybody together. You know what I'm saying? They trying to fight for that. You know what I'm saying? You trying to fight for, you know, for the rights of, uh, you know, just getting respect on Hollywood Boulevard. And that's madness, man. You know what I'm saying? Man? Who gives a damn about Hollywood, man? Hey, who gives a damn about Philadelphia, man? That's right. <laughs> we don't give a damn, man. Right. About none of that madness, man. Because, hey, look, all of America getting destroyed, man. Right. All of America will be destroyed with thermonuclear fire, man. Right. That's how America's going out. By the likes of Russia, China, North Korea, and all of these damn Ishmaelite countries that are, 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 are you know, being in cahoots with the, with the whole BRICS alliance, man. Brazil, India, China, Russia, you know what I'm saying? And all their allies, man. You know what I'm saying? And the UN, they, they turning on America. The United Nations, man, the EU, the European Union, they turning on America real soon. France is trying to get up out of the EU. Out of, out of NATO, Slovakia, the North American uh, Treaty Organization. So France is trying to get up out of there. North Atlantic, there we go, baby. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's, 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 it's coming to a head where the Most High is going to bring about judgment upon this place. What do you hold it? Give me that. Okay, give me that real fast and I'm going to jump to uh, Revelation. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thy shall not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thy shall in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. All right, so the Most High tells us that's a law. You can see that? Huh, so hey, the Most High tells us to not hate our neighbors. You know what I'm saying? So we have to have love for our brothers. And that's not talk amongst our people. Some of our people are still walking around here with that Willie Lynch syndrome within their minds. You know, all of our people is, man. That's why you constantly see, even to this day, the light skin versus the dark skin. You know what I'm saying? The high yellow girls, you know what I'm saying? Versus the, uh, you know, the chocolate, you know, girls. You, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got the tall against the short, old against the young. Hey, all of that is Willie Lynch syndrome that our people is dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And we got to come up out of that. We are bringing our people, and you talk about being in the matrix, nigga, you in the matrix. You know what I'm saying? You are knee deep in the matrix. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I don't want to hear none of that, man. You know what I'm saying? So, like, <laughs> right. You charged up, man. You got that plug of Egypt in your back. Ain't never been to Egypt in his goddamn life, man. Right. You know what I'm saying, Kim? That's a <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So our people, you know, they, they, they've been seduced with the ways of Babylon, man. Hey, look, but I'll say this. You have been to Egypt. You're in Egypt 2.0, man. That's where you are right now. America is spiritual Egypt, right? And this is that land of captivity that God said he would deliver his people from, man. 
You know what I'm saying? And God, he's about to do away with a lot of these new worlds. These niggas ain't gonna last too long, man. God got something for all these tough guys, these fake tough guys out here, man. In the day of Jacob's trouble, we gonna see about that judgment, man. And we gonna see how tough a lot of these dudes are in the last days, man. They gonna be like this nigga right here. This nigga right here. Cause they gonna be like him. That's a man right there. Yeah, that is a dude, you know what I'm saying, cosplaying as a woman. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but yeah, let me get, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, right? Buffalo Bill. <laughs> Buffalo Bill, man. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so can I, can I show you hate in the Bible? No, thank so you. So why do you want to give you two cents? We don't give a damn about the two cents. That's so right. We don't care about what you got to say, man. Give me uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse, right. verse 8 real quick. Let's see how God feels, man. Does God hate? Am I making this up? Am I preaching hate? Is what I said hateful? Is God for men dressing like women and women dressing like men? Let's bring it out the Bible, right? Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose. Under. Now in the verse 8, to every time there is a season and a purpose to it. A time to love. A time to what? A time to love. What? And a time to hate. A time to what? And a time to hate. Is there a reason why you guys are being so hateful? And a time to hate. I know, but he's a human being. And a time to hate. Like the Lord said, it's a time to hate, man. Go ahead. Right. Precept. Deuteronomy chapter 23 and 1. He that is wounded in the stone. That is what? <laughs> wounded in the stone. The Bible says he that is wounded in the stones. Meaning, as a man, if you have your male genitalia cut off, or you choose to get a sex change, if you're wounded in the stones, go ahead. Or have his permanent member cut off. You had your genitals cut off, go ahead. Shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. He said you're not going to enter into the congregation of the Lord. Hey, that's law, and we stand on that, man. You are not entering into the congregation of the Lord. Bring it out the book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 21. Uh -huh. Do not I hate them, O Lord. Said what? Do not I hate them, O Lord. Said do not I hate them, O Lord. This is King David talking, man. I, King David hate them. And guess what? God said David was a man after God's own heart, man. He said he had a heart like, the, like himself. He said, do not I hate, O Lord. Go ahead. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. And Esau, the so-called white man, he hates God. You wouldn't continue to lie about God's image. You wouldn't continue to lie about his son's image if you didn't hate him. Huh? Right. Not to mention walking in public like that around kids, right. giving them a bad example and influence in addition to what's in the media, TV, and movies and all that. He, he, he should be ashamed of himself. That's right. Because right. right. Esau, the, the white man, Everything he does is contrary unto nature, is contrary right. to God, right? So he is the spitting image of hate. You can't talk about hate, man. Look at all these images of lynching our people. You guys live and breathe hatred, man. Right, bring it up. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And, and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them. I do what? I hate them. How do we feel? I hate them. Homosexuality. I hate them. Man dressed like a woman. I hate them. They're human beings. I hate them with perfect hatred. What? With perfect hatred. You shouldn't feel that. With perfect hatred. Oh, brother, you mean? With perfect hatred. God said, I hate them with perfect hatred. Man. That's right. And that's how we feel, man. We don't want to see abominations in front of our eyes, man. Give me the book of Psalms, chapter 101 and verse 3. Bring it out, okay? It's the book of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 26. Uh -huh. Turn again to the Most High. He said, do what? Turn again to the Most High. No, do what you want to do. Turn again to the Most High. Now live abominably. Turn again to the Most High. And look, God says, turn again to the Most High. It's high time for so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans to stop the madness here in America, man. Right. Stop the folly. Stop the gangbanging culture. Stop having an evil eye towards your brother. Stop the homosexuality. You know what I'm saying? Stop all of the wickedness here in America, right? right. Turn again back to the Most High. Go ahead. Right. 
and turn away from iniquity. And do what? And turn away from iniquity. Uh -huh. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health. And hate thou abomination. And do what? And hate thou abomination. What is a man trying to be a woman? And hate thou abomination. What is a man getting a sex change? And hate thou abomination uh -huh. vehemently. And what? Vehemently. Vehemently. We hate thou abomination, man. So and likewise, we hate to see a woman dressing like a man. You will never be able to, to produce the way that a man does. I don't care what America promotes, teaches, and what the, uh, the, uh, these doctors are doing in these laboratories and trying to learn how to put a uterus inside of a man. You know what I'm saying? That's madness, man. If you can't produce uh, uh, children uh, uh, organically or naturally, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, it's not real, man. It's not real, no matter how you want to slice it, man. You know what I'm saying? Some people got to wake up in these last days, man, because judgment is coming to America, man. So any type of image or, or custom that you've been accustomed to doing, image that you've been portraying, hey, it's all coming to an end. If you are not getting down with the program of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in these last days, hey, you're getting destroyed, man. That's right. Your, your block is going to get knocked off. That's exactly what's going to happen to you niggas in the last days. Give me uh, Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 6 to a class. And what do you have, King? Psalm 101 and 3, bring it up. It's the book of Psalm chapter 101, verse 3. Uh -huh. I, will, I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. No, I want to see all wickedness in, my, in front of my face. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. No, I'd like to see these Edomite men walking by, you know what I'm saying, with a tutu on. You know what I'm saying? We long, walking by with a long jacket on and nothing underneath. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. David said, look, I will set no wicked thing before my eyes, man. I don't want to see that BS, man. You know what I'm saying? That's madness, man. And yeah, we got to deal with it because we're living in a wicked place, man. That promotes nothing but wickedness, man. All right, bring it up. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not plead to me. He said, I hate the work of them that Man. turn aside. It will not plead to me. Give me Psalm 73 and verse uh, 2. Bring it up. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 31. Verse chapter 30 and verse 6. Yeah. So yeah, man, hey, look, we hate these things, man. We're going to stand on it. Go ahead. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man doeth travail with child. He said, ask you now, and see, I have, I've been having to bring this precept out for, for weeks now. Man. He said, ask you now, and see, do with the man also travail with child as a woman? Brother, see, a, can a man have a child? Nah, uh, 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 right? Men cannot produce children in, in, in the form of giving birth to a child. Only women can do that, right? So now Jeremiah is asking a rhetorical question. He knows our people know the answer to the question. But he said he's, he's foreseeing something in the future. He's asking now, do men can, are, are men able to carry children or give birth to children? Go ahead. Come. Where, uh, wherefore, wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? He says, wherefore? Hold on now. I'm seeing every man. This is the vision he's at. I'm seeing every man with his hands upon his loins. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 this, and this is the reason behind that, man. All these tough guys out here. Yeah. All the, the little, the little poogie, yep. little, little, you know, uh, uh, little, little numb chucks, little biscuit, you know what I'm saying? All the littles. All, all, you know, little, little J-Rock, you know what I'm saying? The nigga that got 20 bodies, you know what I'm saying, in the hood. You know what I'm saying? The nigga that, you know, he didn't, he didn't cut, you know, a, a few bodies, you know what I'm saying? And all of them. God says you are going to be like a woman in travail in the last days, man. All that tough guy act, all that gang banging, all that killing that you, you bragging about doing, God said you're gonna be like a woman in the last days. Go ahead. God, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. And why is that? Why is all faces turned into paleness? Read that next verse. Alas, for that day is great. Except that what? That day is great, so that none is like it. Uh -huh. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, uh -huh. but he shall be saved out of it. So when we go through Jacob's trouble, 
and you're going to see all hell break loose, right? Give me second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 21. Because look, America is declining at a rapid pace. Right now you have what? A bunch of stores closing down, man. CBS is about to close 900 stores by the end of 2024. We seen, like the brother you read Philadelphia, we seen our people looting like crazy in Philadelphia the other day. And, and a whole bunch of stores. Still in display iPhones, display tablets. Hey, there's nothing you can do with that, man. You know what I'm saying? There's no, no profit in it. But our people are doing these things. And, and look, eventually Esau's gonna be closing all of these stores. Yep. You're not gonna be able to shop to go get no shoes no more and get some clothes. You have to do it online, man. But they, but they found, but they just got two plus uh, killers. Yes. So we should <laughs> always remember that. Hey, look, they gave you a little gift, nigga. They got two box killer. They focus on that, man. That's what they want you to hone in on. You know what I'm saying? It's been over 30 years. They already knew who the killer. Oh, hold on, man. You, really? you goddamn devil. Oh, 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 what the hell is wrong with you? Let me tell you something. You ain't doing nothing. Let me tell you something. We don't give a damn about that. Hey, you ain't doing a goddamn thing. That water ain't stopping nothing, man. Hey, that water ain't stopping nothing. Hey, you the devil that the Bible speaks of. You the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. You prove it, man. You prove it, man. Out of her face. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Hey, you know better, though. You know better when you're doing it. Hey, get your woman. Get your woman. Get your woman. And you are open with your woman acting like this. That God is a man. God is a man. God is a man. What Caucasian man is responsible for this woman? Remove this woman from the presence of black men. Remove her, man. Look, and look, and that's how you know, you know, the 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 white woman runs the household, man. The white woman runs that household, right? She's the one that carries. She's the one that 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 you know. That, that wears the pants in the household. You know what I'm saying? She has an issue with truth, and she's trying to come over here and disrupt it. You know what I'm saying? And this is why we're getting on the white man. Because give me Psalm chapter 73 right quick. Bring it out! Psalm chapter 73, and let's get straight to the point. Let's get yeah, let, Psalm chapter 73. Because look, if we decked her in the face, we would have been wrong. If we punched this white bitch in her face, we would have been wrong. But we see white people do all types of evil in the earth, man. We see white people continuously slaughtering our people with their goddamn hands up. You know what I'm saying? Huh? And normally she, she put water on this one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Specifically on the one that shows all the atrocities that their people have done to our people. You know what I'm saying? And you're the devil, and you're going to get your damn judgment real soon. You don't get your damn judgment real soon, devil. You gonna, and you know better than to put your hands on us. So, but that water ain't do nothing. You know better than to put your hands on us. We tell you the truth. We tell you, a, ain't nobody assault you. And that's that Karen. That's that Karen that come out here. We got it on damn camera, man. We got it on camera. Karen tried to destroy your man. Lying on black, man. Oh, hey, go figure. You've been doing that for damn centuries, man. You've been doing that for centuries. Ain't nobody to stop your damn ass. Don't nobody want your ass. You know what I'm saying? She, you up here, you really want the man Dingo, and we don't want your damn to right, right, right. We don't want that, man. We do not give a damn about Karen. The word is for not, it's not for Karen. It's not for no damn European person out there, man. Psalm chapter 73, let's get verse 2. We're going to get Psalm 73 and verse 2, man. Hey, the truth coming out, you can't stop it, man. You're not going to stop the word. And we're going to tell the truth. No matter if it's our own hard-headed ass people that's coming against us. No matter if it's Esau coming against us, right? Bring it out. Psalm 73 and verse 2. It's the book of Psalm 73 verse 2. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well not nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish. What? For I was envious at the foolish. Hey, look, and sometimes living in Babylon, you can get envious at the foolish, man. Right. But God said these people are foolish. That's sitting in power. That know that they have a government uh, to protect them. That know that they have a ju uh, judicial system that's going to uh, uh, back them up. No matter what they do, God said these people are foolish. No matter what type of power the white man and white woman possess in the earth, these people are completely foolish according to God's word, Lord. For I was envious at the foolish. 
When I saw the prosperity of the wicked. When I saw what? When I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Because the wicked, these wicked damn devils, these white people, they prosper in this world, man. Right. But they prosper off of evil, man. God. They prosper off of the oppression of other people. Yes, you. You, brought, you wouldn't be able to walk over this land if you didn't rape, rob, and murder and kill the Native American Indians, man. You wouldn't be able to walk up and down the so-called Hollywood Boulevard if you didn't have black people built this country up for you. That's right. Because my, my ancestors, yes, we built America. That's no right. matter what lie you want to tell, my ancestors built this country. Right? So God said, look, hey, sometimes you might get, uh, 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 you'll see the prosperity of the wicked, and you get a little envious, right? But go ahead. You got something you want to say, Ken? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk. Where the fuck she, where in the hell is she bringing that water at? Like, and I, that must have took a while just to fill that up, man. Ain't that crazy? You know what I'm saying? Two, two okay. weeks ago, we get death and now water. Ain't that says, <laughs> but there are no beds in their death, but their strength is firm. So it's no bands in the white man's death. Meaning it's, it's, it's no afflictions. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing that's going to deter them from uh, 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 staying wealthy. You know what I'm saying? They don't have an issue like, man, I, I'm not going to be able to pass my wealth down to my son. We have bands in our debt. I ain't received nothing with my pops, dog. Uh, nothing. Uh, my mama ain't got nothing right now. You know what I'm saying? So, and look, there's no bands in their debt, right? Go ahead. Verse 5, they are not in trouble as other men. Right, they're not in trouble as other men. Right? Right. You know what I'm saying? You'll have a black man commit the same crime as a white man, and guess what? The black man gets sentenced to 20 plus years, and the white man be lucky if he get probation. Be let off stop free. You know what I'm saying? So they do these things all the time. Right, go ahead. Neither are they plagued like other men. Right, and they're right. not plagued like us, man. Right. They're not dealing with, you know, uh, uh, the afflictions that we're dealing with, the suffering that we're dealing with, the yeah. evil eye towards our own people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 the degrading of our women. You know what I'm saying? They're not dealing with those same things. You know what I'm saying? The gender war that they have between the male and the female, between blacks and Hispanics, man. You see what I'm saying? So we keep going on that. Verse 6. Therefore, pride compassed him about as change. Right, so it says, therefore, pride compasses these Europeans about as a chain. Like, you know, I got my necklace on right now. You know, when people have their chain on, you kind of wear it proudly. Uh -huh. And that's how the white man is when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, just his whole demeanor and, and, and aura and his whole uh, 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 position in the earth, man. Uh -huh. He wears pride. He wears pride on his chest. Yes, about as if you're wearing a chain. So he reps that pride. To, you know, that's why they have the Proud Boys organization. Wow. You know, so that's how they feel about who's going to take America down. Wow. We have the greatest military in all the world. Nobody can take us down. We're the greatest country of all time. Yeah, who's going to war with us, right? But go ahead. Violence covers them as a garment. Is that what? Violence covers them as a garment. Right, so they wear violence, man. Like a garment, like a brother got on a fly garment, man. You know what I'm saying? Just drip, draped up and dripped out. That's how they they, they cover themselves in violence, man. They, they proud to, to you know promote violence. Because who's the most violent people on the earth? I know your news channels is going to show black people stealing, looting, right? Killing each other. But the white man has caught more bodies than anybody upon this goddamn earth, man. Yes, you white man. Do you over there shaking your head, rolling your eyes? You are the devil that the Bible speaks of. Man. Right. And, and the judgment is coming real soon, double. Ah. Come bring it out, man. Therefore, pride compassed them about as chains. Violence covers them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. Say like what? Their eyes stand out with fatness. Why, why does their eyes stand out with fatness? Well, like it says in Psalm 37 and verse 34, I have seen the wicked spread themselves like a green bay tree. The, the, the white man, he just covets every, every single land mass upon this earth, bro. And any, any way he can get it, that's why he's really going to war with all these countries on the other side right now, man. You know what I'm saying? He's coveting every single thing, man. 
Come on, bring it up. God, this is the book of Luke, chapter 8, verse 12. Those by the wayside are they that hear. Then cometh the devil. Then what? Then cometh the devil. What was that Karen that was just here? Then cometh the devil. She, she threw the water all on the floor at her. Then cometh the devil. And taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. All right, man. Then cometh the devil. That's all Karen came to be, man. She came to be her natural self, man. You know what I'm saying? She came to be the demon, the devil, the, the deceiver that she, she was born to be, man. You have children of God and you have children of the devil. And all white people are the children of the devil, man. It ain't a good white person upon this earth, man. So get that out your mind, man. The, the most high God tells us that. Yeah, we said it. It's not one of you that's good, man. All of you, you raising little devils. You yourself are a devil. Your great granddaddy was a devil. And hey, your daddy's daddy was a devil, man. All of them, man. Hey, we got more devils walking by. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, bring it out, kid. No, I just wanted to show in Proverbs, where, uh, you know, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, that whole city was burned down by the lie of a damn white woman, man. This is Proverbs chapter 11, verse 11. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, right? And that happened, you know, during you know, the uh, Black Wall Street, man. It says, by the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. And it's overthrown by the mouth of the wicked, man. You know, anytime Jake, we get to build him, Esau got to come with his little mob and, and destroy our communities. We've seen that time after time. We always talk about Tulsa and Rosewood, but it was probably, yeah, yeah, up to the thousands of, as far as black cities that we had that Esau had mobs come through and just completely destroy those cities. Now I want to get this precept right quick because she came with the water, right? Give me Revelation chapter 12, and let's get verse, let's start at, uh, yeah, let, let, let's go ahead. Check this out, brother. So, the book of Revelation, yeah, yeah, yeah. chapter 12, yeah, yeah, yeah. verse 15. Uh -huh. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. <laughs> Isn't that Karen? Bring it out! And the serpent cast out of his mouth water <laughs> as a flood. Right. And, she up, and she had the bucket of water, and she cast out water as a flood. The serpent, man. Right. Hey, the scriptures, was, hey, the scriptures remain true. That's right. You know what I'm saying, God? Brother Rob Esau came through as a flood, man. The serpent <laughs> came through as a flood and tried to disrupt the whole truth, man. And that's what God do, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna bring it out one more time. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. So what she wanted, she wanted us to be carried away with the flood. She wanted us to stop teaching that a man cannot, or yeah, that a man cannot change his his, his gender identity. I know we gonna stand ten toes down on that, man. No bucket of water, no amount of water you throw at us is gonna change the word of God from being true. You know what I'm saying? And this is why we bring this. This why this, this precept is so spiritual right now, and it's so mighty. We gonna we gonna read all the way down, but let's keep going. Go ahead. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth, and swallowed up the flood. It did what? Swallowed up the flood. Oh, what did God do? Swallowed up the flood. What is this, uh, these mighty bodies we have to do? Swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of her mouth. Which the dragon, that white devil, cast out of her mouth, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, look, it's nothing you can do to stop this truth, man. That's right. God's word is going to reign supreme. America will be destroyed with thermonuclear fire. You know what I'm saying? And the Israelites are going to rule forever, man. And we're going to get these last remaining precepts. And we're going to close it out, man. Let me get the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, and verse 21 real fast. And let me get um, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 21. Yeah, 18 and 21. And get him 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, and verse 21, man. Because we was going into the stores, I believe. Maybe, was, I don't know if it was before that, and then Karen came. But Esau, you know, everything is closing down, man. 
and we gonna, we're seeing the rapid decline of America, man. That's what we're seeing right now. So all praise be to you, how about Shimon Rashad, man? You know what I'm saying? We get all kind of negative looks. People looking at us sideways. What these niggas doing? They dressing in these weird clothes. With power Rangers out here. You know what I'm saying? Well, bring it out here. It's the second Ezra chapter 6, 23. And the truck 21. And the children of a year old shall speak with their horses. The woman with child shall bring forth untimely children of three or four months old, and they shall live and be raised up. And suddenly shall the um, shall the sown places appear unsown. The full the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. What's gonna happen to all these stores in America? Shall suddenly be found empty. What's gonna happen to these grocery stores? Shall suddenly be found empty. What's gonna happen to all these clothing stores? Shall suddenly be found empty. Right, so all of these, hey, America, when it gets turned upside down, hey, everything's gonna be empty, man. Everything's gonna be ramsacked, nothing. Hey, look, you're not gonna be able to buy nothing no more, man. Everything is gonna be coming to a swift end, man. Give me Isaiah chapter 14 and verse uh, 21 real fast. Verse 21. Bring this up, okay? The book of Revelation chapter 18 verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence. Oh, thus with forgiveness. Thus, thus with violence. violence. Thus with mercy on the white man. Thus, thus with, with violence. violence. Look, America was created and built by violence. They didn't get it through no, no agreement. They got this land by violence. Right. This, this land was not, it would not be here if it had not been for the raping, the murdering, the pillaging of people and land. So God says, thus with violence, yes you, Mr. Uh, you know, Mr. White Man, White Lady, yes you too, you know what I'm saying? Hey look, pretty soon, hey look, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be dressing all nice and fancy, you're gonna have on some slave clothing. That's right! That's what you're gonna have on. You ain't gonna have on the latest Armani suit. We're not dressed nice and fancy now. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I would agree with that too. I would agree with that statement too. But I know Esau think he over here walking up, dappered up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all of that is gonna come to a screeching halt, man. You know what I'm saying? You gonna put, we're gonna get you some good slave. Uh, uh, wear for the sun. You gonna be out in the Slave, sun, boy. Slavewear. You gonna be out there in the sun, right? So God said, "Thus with violence, go ahead. Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down. The what? The great city Babylon shall be thrown down. What's gonna happen to America? The great city Babylon shall be thrown down uh -huh. and shall be found." No more at all. Right. No more at all, right? Go ahead and bring this out for me, King. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Uh -huh. Prepare slaughter for his children. What's gonna happen to the white man? Prepare slaughter for his children. So look, God said he didn't judge the white race for what they did to so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans when it happened to us. But God said this is something that's gonna take place in the future. Yes, you too, man. It's gonna happen to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Esau think he's walking on cool with the hat to the back. Hey, your, your middle finger ain't doing nothing, man. We're gonna break you, we're gonna break your fingers, and you still gonna be working for us, devil. We still gonna find something for you to do, devil. You know what I'm saying? So God says, look, read that one more time. But bear slaughter for his children. Esau walking up and down with their children on Hollywood Boulevard. God said, prepare slaughter for their children, man. Right now, the European people that's alive today, you are the children of your ancestors, man. You are the people that are, that are gonna have to suffer for what you did to so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in slavery. You are those people, you are gonna have to suffer for the sins of your forefathers, so it? For the, yes, I'm talking to you, devil. Don't side-eye me like that, boy. Know your goddamn place. Right, go ahead. For the iniquity of their father. For the what? For the iniquity of their father. Why are Europeans gonna die? For the iniquity of their father. Why are all white people gonna die? For the iniquity of their father. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, 
nor fill the face of the world with sin. Because it's not going to be no more Los Angeles, California. Hey, San Francisco, California is going to be old. Hey, Miami, Florida is going to be old, man. Hey, New York City is going to be over, man. Hey, Detroit is going to be over with, man. Hey, Baltimore is going to be over with, man. Hey, Philadelphia is going to be over with, man. Hey, Chicago is going to be over with, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, all these cities is going to be over with, man. Hey, the white man ain't going to rule a goddamn thing no more, man. Hey, give me one more precept. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 18, man. We going to see who's going to be ruling the earth, man. We ain't going to see no more white people ruling the earth, man. We ain't gonna be learning about no goddamn Alexander the Great no more, man. Right. Alexander the fake, man. Right. You know what I'm saying Alexander the damn Greek, Greek man. Right. We ain't learning about that history no more, yes, man. Sir. Yes, we sir. Gonna, you gonna know our history, man. You gonna come to the Israelite school and you gonna learn about the, the rich culture of so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Right. Right. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 18. Bring it out, King. Okay? It's the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 18. Uh -huh. But the saints of the most high. Uh, who? But the saints of the most high. Uh, but the Europeans are the most high. But the saints of the most high. But the Edomites. But the saints of the most high. But the Chinese. But the saints of the most high. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, being the real Israelites, the real Jews, we are the real saints of the most high. Go ahead. Shall take the king. No, we gonna ask for it. Shall take, take the king. No, we gonna beg for it. Shall take, take the king. No, it's gonna be equality, brother. Shall no, take the kingdom. No, I had a dream that every white man and every black man was holding hands. Yeah, yeah, Shall yeah, take yeah. the kingdom uh -huh. and possess the king. What we gonna do? And possess the king. We gonna do? And possess the king. We gonna do? And possess the kingdom. Forever, 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 season, forever. One year, forever. For a little bit, forever. Even forever and ever and forever and forever. And with that, we say death to America! 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 Pum Yasharala! Pum Yasharala! Pum Yasharala! Pum Yasharala! Pum Yasharala! Pum Yasharala! I didn't even see her coming up, man. Yeah, I seen him, but I was like, what's, what's she doing, man? Right, right, right. Because I, I would have kind of pushed her back if I seen that shit, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. She had the bucket behind her. Look at water. Yeah. She could have urinated in that motherfucker, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, she could have put, put some piss in it, with the, mixed it with the water, you know? Yeah, man, that was bananas, but... I mean, that damn transgender dude. That was her, I think that was her... Uh, Friend or somebody. All these, all these, you got all these women. You got all these women support these fads, man. These transgenders and all these different rainbow coalitions is these these uh, the feminist women is lining up with the damn faggots, man. And that's what that, that's what that shit was. Cause that dude was up there yeah, homosexual. Yeah. He came with a big ass bucket. She came with a bucket. Right? Water. And then she, she had that bucket behind her back. That's why we didn't see it. No, no, it was right there. She came like this. That's crazy. That's why. I know what the hell she was doing. I see it though. Is this yours? Oh, no, that's uh, Oh, okay. That's right.